Okay, how do you thread the 226? Let's check it out from top to bottom. Okay, to thread the machine, go from the industrial vertical spool through this little hook. Sometimes it's a captive hole and sometimes it's just a loose hook. Go through that hook and on down to the machine. Hit the guide post two times, once back to front and once right to left. And then go ahead and thread this guide assembly three times, just like a barber pole. So if you kind of candy cane stripe around like that and hit all three holes, you know you've done it right. Then go ahead and raise your presser foot and take the thread between the tension discs around this side of the controller. Hold your thread at an upper location and lift that thread until you hear it click. Okay, once you've clicked into position, when you pull up on the thread, it'll act on the controller spring. Okay, from there, just hit your guide on your way up towards the take up arm. Take up arm right to left. Come right back down through the thread guide that you've already gone up through. Another thread guide on the front of the machine. Fairly loose thread guide here that may or may not have a little piece of felt in there to guide the thread. Needle bar thread guide around the back and hook into the needle bar thread guide and then go ahead and thread the needle from left to right. From there, just go ahead and pass it through the hole and hold your threads back, you're ready to sew. So once you have a nicely wound bobbin, it needs to go in a certain way. As you spool thread from the bobbin, the bobbin will turn counterclockwise. That's the way you want to insert the bobbin into the 226. And basically, it's a very common thing with an industrial that when you put the bobbin in and you come through this little anti-backlash slot right here, okay, that's what steers the thread under the tension mechanism of the bobbin case, okay? So just pull it to the left of this little triangular tab right here, okay? And so once the thread is passed to the left side of that triangular tab, from that position, you're ready to rotate the hand wheel towards you and pull up the bobbin thread. Just roll the upper hand wheel forward. Okay, so I'm holding my upper threads loosely as we're rolling that hand wheel towards me. And you'll see the loop brought up from underneath the machine and just pass an object through to pull your bobbin thread out, close up your slide plate, and you're all ready to sew. Some real basics of any industrial sewing machine. You always want to have the presser foot down when you start sewing, and you always, always, always want to hold the threads back, both the upper and the lower threads. Just hold them back until you make three or four stitches. If this is something that's going to be your final seam, go ahead and back tack it and then you're off to the races. You can go ahead and stitch from there. 